Hey guys, Wills here. Today I want to talk about ranges in Auto Chess and how to understand the range for units, attacks, uh, area of effect, and item area of effect. So the game is played on an 8x8 grid with each square in the grid being 80 yards by 80 yards. This means the entire playing field is 640 yards by 640 yards and diagonally measures 905 yards. So to start off with, I want to use a sniper as an example. So you can see here, a sniper has an attack range of 703 yards. If you divide this by the 80 yards, it means his range is 8.78 grids. So according to this, you would expect his attack radius to reach this circle. So this is would be his expected horizontal attack range, while this would be his expected vertical attack range. And then theoretically, all this uh, squares inside the circle he should be able to hit uh, from the corner as he's positioned here but as you can actually see in the example he's only reaching the green squares so even though it says his attack range is 703 yards his actual attack range is uh, referenced by this circle here and all the green squares that are fully inside the circle are the only ones he's actually reaching uh, we can see this example again using Venom or any unit that has an attack range of 313 yards. Uh, using this circle, this is his expected range based off of that 313 yard or 3.9 grid measurement. But once again, you can see uh, where the green squares actually lie. So his actual uh, area of effect is going to be different than what you would expect so here's his actual area of effect so this is his actual horizontal attack radius his actual vertical attack radius and once again it's only the squares that are fully covered in the circle of his attack radius that he's able to hit so those that are only partially covered he's not going to attack into so with that being said I recommend not relying solely on the yardage number and clicking on the number next to attach range to open up the grid and relying on the green squares to tell you where its range lies. Some units such as Tsunami have an ability that has an effect range like Tsunami does Ravage which uh, stuns the opponent. So again I recommend actually clicking on the number next to effect range pulling up the grid and then seeing the area that the ability will hit based on the green squares rather than relying on the number. Another thing to keep in mind is that units sometimes have different effect ranges based on their star level. Tsunami, for instance, at three stars, ability covers pretty much the entire board. A two star tsunami covers almost the entire board, but usually leaves one spot in the far corner. So it may be advantageous to blink tsunami in certain situations so it actually hits the entire side of the opponent's board. When it comes to certain units in the game it's really important to know whether the unit you put your item on is a melee unit or a ranged unit. Items like Axe of Fury only work on melee units while items such as Burst Rifle only work on ranged units. So to tell the difference you can simply check your unit's attack range. If it's 160 and has this one by one grid, it means it's a melee unit. If it's anything larger than that, such as Unicorn with the, this size grid, this is considered ranged. So most of your melee units are going to be stuff like warriors or knights or assassins, while most of your ranged units are gonna be stuff like hunter or magic dealers like flame wizard. One exception to this uh, rule is Spacewalker. Spacewalker is unique in that it's the only melee unit in the game that's attack range is greater than 160. His is slightly longer because he carries a big stick. He also has a unique ability effect range. As you can see here, he actually strikes the entire length of the board in a three width grid. So just something to keep in mind, you want to use melee items on Spacewalker and never used ranged items. 
So far, we've only been talking about unit uh, base attack ranges and unit uh, ability effect ranges, as seen here. But something else of importance in the game in terms of ranges are the items. Some items, such as Crimson Heart or Barbaric Heroes, have uh, an effect range. Again, uh, you can just click on the number that lists the yardage to pull up a range example. So for items that are like buffing your team, they're going to be uh, signified by this piece of armor and then show you the effective range. While other items that are affecting the enemy in some way rather than buffing your, uh, your own team will show a little target in the middle and then the area that is affected. So something like Storm Guide will silence uh, an enemy opponent and then silence the other units around it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any other questions about uh, attack ranges or ability damage ranges or stuff with items and how their ranges work, uh, what items are good for which units, melee or ranged, etc. Any questions like that, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer you guys. Uh, if you could just do me a favor and like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I do stream on Twitch almost every other day, so be sure to check me out there. Until next time, guys, appreciate you. Peace out. Later.